Hey, what's up, people? This is uh, Ike Love and creator north of the blog, The Viable Alternative, which is an inspirational blog where I share the wisdom and insights gained along my path to become a greater, stronger version of myself. And if you want to read more on the blog, you can click under the window where it says description and you see the link for www.theviablealternative.com. So um, this is going to be a really quick uh, video blog, but I wanted to just talk with all of you today about um, what to do when you're going through your trials and tribulations. Um, as you know, I'm not here. <laughs> Usually when I talk to you guys, it's basically speaking to this idiot right here. <laughs> you know, I believe, not I believe, we are all on this journey we've called life together and we're here to help one another. And um, I believe um, if you're going through something, one way to get blessings is to give. And it doesn't only mean monetarily, but also uh, the wisdoms, the wisdom and insights you're gaining, you've gained as you're going through the same thing. So um, in life, um, as you know, we all sometimes go through trials and um, tribulations. And um, this is for those of you who understand that um, you can create your own reality, all right? Um, it's not so much of life, what's going on specific in your life, but it's what you see, you know, what you see for you ahead. You know, they say that your attitude uh, determines the altitude, but I'm even talking beyond the attitude. I'm talking about the vision you actually see for your life. And you understand now that um, to create the reality you want to live in, you have to focus on the outcome of what you want, you know? If the focus on the outcome of what you want, and you have to move towards that outcome, despite the way things may look on the outside, you know, um, you do not let things on the outside determine where you think you're going to be going, you know, and this is again, this is to me as well. So um, that being said, when you're going through specific trial or tribulation now, that warrants your attention, when I say warrants your attention, you kind of feel forced now to look away from where you really want to go and you want to focus the situation at hand. And when you focus the situation at hand, you start to really worry and get um, frustrated and discouraged. And um, sometimes, or a lot of times, we focus so much on the situation, we forget about the future vision and we get wrapped up in the situation itself, worrying, demanding, and actually making that situation uh, determine how we look at our final outcome. I mean, in my example, you know, I mean, I, I've gone through things, been going through things, and um, sometimes I feel forced to take away, take my eyes off the prize and focus on the immediate situation at hand. When not knowing a situation, a situation, a situation that can be looked at in many different ways, you know, but when we're going through something that we're normally habitually, habitually conditioned to respond to a certain way, when that situation comes back up, we're going to look at that situation in that negative way and take our eyes off of where we want to go. So this is my encouragement when you're going through something. When you're going through something, not only keep your eyes on the prize, but stay grateful that the thing that you have your eyes on is coming into fruition. You know, like I, I've said in other videos that I've always, in the past, I used to think that gratitude was old, utterly corny and some new age hocus pocus BS. But, you know, I actually, uh, this year had experiences where I've seen the power of gratitude. And so um, what you want to do to combat any type of negative tendency to um, focus on this, the negative situation at hand, what you're going to do is you're going to keep your eyes on your future vision. And in a manner or gesture that's saying F you to your current circumstances, you're going to thank God or universe or creator for bringing your, your idea to fruition. You're going to actually, despite the way your circumstances look, you're going to still look beyond your circumstances and be thankful for the way you see them to be. And I've learned in my life, this is how you form your reality. You know, you don't look at immediately what's at hand. You look at where you want things to go and you set your vision and your gratitude and the way you speak towards that vision. So things are going to fall apart in your entire life. And of course, you know, you're going to actually have to deal with them, but you're thankful that things are working out for your good. You're thanking God that things are working out for your actual good and everything is working out for you. And you still live your life as if everything is working out for you, despite the fact that things don't look like they're working out for you, you know? So you have a money situation. Just say you have, uh, you have like $20 left in your bank account and um, you have not much left. 
And, uh, you know, the first thing to do is we get discouraged, right? We get discouraged over, over what things are going on. And we think, oh, wow, I want to be wealthy and prosperous, but um, it doesn't look like things are going to happen. So screw my future vision. I'm going to sit here now and be depressed because of the way things are now. And this, the way things are now are proof, to, are proof in the pudding that things are not going to be working out. That's what you're tempted to do, right? But what you're going to do is you're going to continue thanking God for the blessings that are to come, right? You're continually making plans for the future when things are going to be working out. Obviously, you do with situation at hand, but then, you know, if you plan to go on a vacation or um, yeah, you plan to go on a vacation, you're still going to go online thanking God for the money that's coming your way to bring this thing into fruition, all right? If you have a certain goal you're going towards that you're planning for, you're taking action towards this goal that you hope one day will bring you money, you're still going to go enthusiastically into 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 um, into acting out and pursuing that goal, all right? You're still going to be, um, you're not going to let whatever's going on around you take away the dent of your attitude and your enthusiasm for what you're pursuing. Um, you're still acting consistently every day. You're not going to, see, the tendency for us to do when things aren't going well, we start to get depressed. And when we start to get depressed, we can't do anything. We kind of stay paralyzed and we stay, stay wild in that depression. Nonsense. We have to all stop that. Uh, we're still going to make the steps towards that goal by doing whatever we're passionate, whatever thing we're endeavor we're working on that to bring that goal into fruition while thanking God, the universe, the creator, that things are coming to fruition the way things are planned. You know, you're waking up, you're being thankful, you're visualizing and you're living life as if you expect everything to be coming your way. All right. That the things that you, you, you visualize and that you desire are coming your way. This is how you take mass over your circumstances. Like I said, it doesn't mean that, you know, <laughs> the landlord's about to kick you out or, uh, you, you, you're, you're um, I don't know, you have a car overdue car payment or whatever. It doesn't mean you're like, oh, well, my vision's come to fruition. Screw this. You know, I don't have to pay for my car payment. No, you know, of, of, of course you deal with the situation at hand. But you're still thanking God that one day this is going to be all a dream and a memory, you know, because everything is working out as planned, you know. You know, instead of looking at things like, oh, my gosh, you know, my life is over, things are working out, you're gonna say, this is just a symbol. In fact, you, either you say, this is a symbol that things are, will be working out, because you can look at anything, any way you choose to, to look at, or you just say, you know what? I choose to look beyond this and say that things are coming exactly as planned. So I hope all this helps. I hope this helps in, you know, if you're going through something now, um, I hope it helps in, t in you having the right attitude. You know, um, this is what I employ in my life, and. Am employing in my life right now because Lord knows me. Of course, I need to, you know. So anyway, um, if you want to read more of my website, go to www.theviablealternative.com. I share all the wisdoms, and insights gained. I update the blog regularly. Funny, I have a backlog actually. I've written a lot of blogs, but I forgot to actually post them. But they're gonna be there. For they're recent, updated. You can also follow me on Twitter, the Viable Alt. And if you like this video, please click on like and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, all right. I'm out. Take care. God bless. And peace.